Hello, just trying something a little bit new today. Um, instead of using canvas paper to do one of my portraiture pro marker pieces, I am trying out Bristol board. Um, one thing I will say that's a big difference between canvas paper and Bristol board is the blending. Although you can blend on this Bristol board, you've got to be a lot quicker, you've got to have colours that are closer together to ease the shading onto the paper I find whereas on my canvas paper I find it a lot easier to shade I can manipulate the colour a lot a lot more so anyway to the person I am doing my portraiture piece on is Jessie from Breaking Bad and I originally started doing his whole face I wanted to do a main piece for him but then Later on in the video you'll you'll see that I actually trim it down to just be his eyes and nose and part of his moustache area. And the reason for that is because I actually ran out of my skin tone colours, my lighter skin tone colours, and I chose another colour thinking it was very close to those colours, but um, it turned out not to be and I completely wrecked the neck area and I just thought instead of doing such a large area struggling to get as much colour out of the um, marker as possible I would just trim it down and in the end I actually prefer that to, to I think how it would have looked if I had done the whole piece so yeah it turned out great uh, at the end but um, talking through my processes I, I have been doing uh, I did the eyes first and I use the petrol blue um, from Promarker selection uh, as the basis and um, created the eye colour basically and then I outlined the colour um, in black with um, sunkissed pink in Promarker just to create the darker fleshy areas of the eye. Um, then I continue on to his nose and used light fawn some of the other skin tones. One second, I'll just get my. Um, there we go. Um, I use light fawn um, with some blush, and then for the darker shading, I use nutmeg, and then later on, I use an even darker shade of saddle brown. Um, these blended with black to create the nostril area, and yeah then I just blended it out. I, I was originally just working on section by section and then you see me try and cover the whole face in one continuous colour. This is when I realised that my light fawn blush and nutmeg were kind of running low and so it looks very patchy and I, it takes me a long time to rectify that with a lot of colourless blender and stuff. Um, you'll see me doing the lips but you can just ignore that because I don't actually have any good lip colours at the moment. Especially on this paper they didn't seem to come up as the same colours as I was hoping. So the lips don't look that great to be honest and I, I think that's another reason that I chopped it off because sometimes you ha you envi envi okay. envisage a look about something but with an eye it can go very wrong very quick so it, it went quite wrong and so I just had to uh, adjust and rectify it in a different way and that ended up being chopping off the lips so yeah um what else to talk about um the shading i because this is new paper i'm experimenting with the colors because my color chart is actually on canvas paper so the colors are going to look different on the canvas paper as they are to bristol board so i should have done another color charts really which i'm probably going to do soon but the shading colors looked very different so i tried to had shading on the right side of his face and I used grey tones instead of just using my darker skin tones like the subtle brown and the burnt sienna and cinnamon and henna that type of those type of colours so um, it took a lot of experimenting so this is a very experimental piece for me really but um, yeah the eye I spent a lot of the time on the eyes because I really wanted to get a lot of detail in there, a lot of shadowing, a lot of texture almost, but without having to do all the fine details of texture. And I think that turned out quite good, especially when I chop off the rest of the detail so you mainly focus on his eyes, which is quite nice. Um, another thing is I use my 
black pro marker but with the ultra fine nib to get a lot of the dark line details in there so that's another thing I do um, I was actually doing this during a live stream so if you do want to see what I'm doing next I'm hopefully going to try and live stream every Thursday but sometimes that might be rearranged and I'm not I'm not saying a specific time because that will be dependent on if I'm doing anything but um, if you want to see what I'm going to be doing next just come and tune in on Twitch um, I'm Lucy Locks on there as well and you can probably watch me doing this and have a chat to me that'd be great um, yeah uh, what else to say um, oh I use my uni Posco white paint pen and like the and I add like it in places just to show that there's light hitting the face in certain areas um, yeah I also have this very I don't remember the name of it now but it's um, a very thick uh, grey marker and I think the colour when I tested it out um, is actually as dark as Cool Grey 5 in Pro Markers and um, I use this um, to create the really dark shading areas around the eye. Um, in hindsight, I think I should have warmed it up a little bit with some burnt sienna or saddle brown, maybe, but um, yeah, it's not too bad. I, I kind of like the effect it has. And um, his face actually ended up turning out quite warm. I'm kind of pleased with it. Um, and it blended quite well after it took a long blender and it did dilute the colour quite a bit but it it did make them um, last a little bit longer um, so yeah the face turned out quite blended really and um, I have got some replacements on offer but it seems that since Winsor Newton took over the Letraset Pro Markers the colours like Light Fawn aren't being sold anymore so I tried searching for the old flex markers in light fawn and people must have noticed this as well and bought them all up because it was very difficult to find anything unfortunately so I had to substitute the colours I just hope they're a good substitute and not um, not bad ones in a way but I'm sure we'll find out soon um, his eyebrows I layered up the colour I did that dark cool grey 5 and then I added um, like an umber colour over the top and then I used my fine nib pro marker pen to add in even finer detail on there and for his eyelashes and then I use a Sakura jelly roll to add white just behind a couple of his um, eyebrow hairs and on his eyelash eyelashes as well um, I don't think I have anything else to say really. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'll try and do a couple more pieces on Bristol board, but it's quite difficult, I find, for detailed pieces on board or something like that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and. If you want to see more videos, um, subscribe so you can stay tuned. So thank you for...